Hi folks, this is Wormatty. We're testing uh, the Death Run Map PQ version 0.9.5. Map author is Stotterheim. God, how many bugs are we gonna oh. find now? Uh, which uh, which level sound is for choosing uh, class music? Uh, I'll, cool. I'll send you my level sounds file. Uh, no need, I can just extract. I, oh. I like uh, the idea. I, I don't remember it on hand, but I've got it somewhere. Okay. I find it pretty cool that music plays. I'm gonna put a recall on. <laughs> oh god! What have I done? <laughs> oh, you fixed solid four. Good job. Yep. Uh, now it's just solid two everywhere except where you need solid four. Oh, fair enough. Thanks for your sacrifice. Nice job, Joel. You ruined the shortcut. <laughs> Oh, I died. Fortunately, we have uh, a couple of scouts with double jumping. It's not often I see this um, platform trap actually in use. The white thing. Oh, it stopped working. Yeah, it stops when you hit the button. I got confused there. I thought I needed a... Um, a crouch jump because I hit the thing and then I I didn't I landed on it and then I instinctively kind of moved backwards with oh no give him a dogful is this um what's this thing in here with all the um the like red speed lines and shit where not Mumi standing. Uh, no. That's a trap that nobody's actually managed to fall into yet. <clears throat> it says not Mumi, but for some reason it's got Brim. Brim Puke's name above him. I don't know. Huh, that, that is weird. I don't know if it's Solid 4 doing that or what. It's a spectator glitch. Oh, uh, okay. It doesn't say that Brim's alive, though. Oh, it says Brim's alive. Yeah, I don't say that. Oh, he either, uh, uh, he either Brim, has to like turn the team or something. That's could Brim. Be a plug -in I problem. think he tripped the late spawn protection. Wait, no, no, he's not. Do you, like join a team red and console, or blue or something? I don't know. Yeah, could you try, um, like, moving fr from red to spec, please, uh, Brim Puke, and then back again? Uh, unfortunately, I realized that the blind trap is bugged right now. Cheers, mate. So, yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. What happened? Not when we committed suicide. Cause no, was, but like, was he stuck? Yeah. It was the only player alive, and he was. What blinded. I want to do. Oh. Yeah, Moltard. Um, he helped me out with bug testing a few things. I was asking a lot of questions on the Source Discord. Oh, you bastard! So is this laser all the way up here? Oh, okay. Hmm. Yeah, this map wasn't really built around scouts. I'm a boomer. I don't take those things into account. I can always disable scout double jump. How do you do that? If you want me to. Oh, oh, I didn't realize. 
Nah, that's fine. Hey, nice to see that trap works. Fuck me. <laughs> that's where I'm at with this map. If it works, it's good enough for me. Oh, I see what you're doing there. How many servers allow buildings like that? Uh, maybe one. <laughs> okay, good, so I don't have to worry about it. Yeah. Damn it. There is a way out of that trap, but you need quick thinking. Need a dispenser here. Put dispenser here. We need a dispenser right here. Job well done. Uh, need a dispenser here. Is there anything you can actually do to avoid dying when that trap is triggered? Uh, not much, aside from just jump out in time. So it requires a lot of commitment, so it, it seems like it could be just a sacrifice trap. I'll see what I can do, because one thing you can do is, since the first two traps you jump on are very close to the safe spot, You just jump up to the third platform and then jump right back down to fake him out. It's more committal of a juke than most traps are, but I think it balances out. Problem is, you don't know Maybe what's going to happen until you until the trap is activated. True. So you have to know what's going to happen, and the problem is that if you're not there, standing in front of the trap, looking at it when it gets activated, you will either only see it in its normal state, or in its triggered state. You don't ever see the transition, you know? <clears throat> yeah, that's fair. So maybe you could, like, um, teach people that, that things could occasionally drop a bit beforehand. Alright. Just an idea. Uh, I'll see if I can do that with the trap in stage one. But, like, yeah, I suppose so. Uh, the question is, how that how would you then communicate um, that that trap does that? Like, would it be like the glass floor, or particular use of textures or colors or whatever? Good question. <laughs> Maybe it's more thought than uh, anyway than you want to put in. Maybe uh, it does have plus use. <laughs> I heard that noise and I thought I was about to be lasered down like in Resident Evil movie. <laughs> Ouch. You died. It's bind, space, key, space, plus use. There you go. Looks like that, um, this green thing might be touch blockable when it rises back up. Oh. Good point. I'll see. I'll look into that. Damn it. I think the, the walls kind of very slightly pulse in, in sync with the music. Uh, the sync is unintentional, but I'll take it. I mean, uh, no, I didn't even realize they, they changed, to be honest. I, I was suggesting that they should visibly oh. pulse with the beat of the music. Oh. <coughs> uh, I'll, I'll see about that. There is a, um... There's a material proxy you can use to synchronize uh, beats per minute of, um, of the material with the soundscape, apparently. Huh. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, nice. I'll look into that. The only downside, of course, is that if a, a soundscape has a beats per minute, like, where is that beats per minute stored, and then 
like, is it possible that the the material can come out of sync with it? I don't know. Depending on the initialization time of the soundscape. They're worth in investigating, though, just out of interest. Yeah, it'd be a neat little tangent. What I want to do after this is... Fuck you. We don't really get to test the fourth and fifth stages a lot, so I'm going to enter the debug room and then see if I can get everybody teleported to me. Yeah, that's, that's the uh, thing. I I rarely see the um, the second half of this map, except when I'm watching like one yeah. or two super players do it. <clears throat> Think about on one hand, that's how I like it, because I want the map to be difficult. I want it to be a genuine accomplishment to complete it. But on the other hand, it makes it really difficult to test. Yeah, if you never get to the end like it, ever, and you're only ever watching the Not Roomies and stuff play it, then it's a bit boring. Yeah. But to be fair, most of the time I die is, is through me not actually playing properly, not focusing. a long conversation. <laughs> I mean, that's... That's just what happens when a boomer makes a death run map. <laughs> what I mean is, I've played death run for so long now that I don't play it, if you know what I mean, anymore. Ah. I kind of just switch off and watch other people play and then make comments on mechanics. <laughs> Because I feel like focusing on, so this is a on basic traps is just a waste of time. Not that this is one of those maps, but it's a state of mind I get into. Yeah. I mean, this map is still pretty deeply flawed, and I don't know how it's going to be received when it comes out. But at this point, <coughs> I'm just going to focus on making it as technically sound as possible. I think I can guess what, what it's going to be like. People are being going, wow, a new map, isn't it cool? I like the music and I like the graphics. And then after a while, they'll kind of get tired of the, um, the relative cheapness of the traps in the first half. And then they'll, they'll RTV or something. Yeah. That's, um, every map ever is going to have like um, a period of a honeymoon period where people like it because it's new and they like the graphics and sounds but after a while people are going to get bored of it anyway you know uh, the question is how much gameplay is there and how fun is it to, to keep that period going for as long as possible yeah i need to find a way to make it replayable <coughs> I really like the puzzle element, I think that's the strongest point of the map, but you don't really see much in the way of actual puzzles until later on. And the problem with puzzles with so many players is that um, only one person can actually trigger the puzzle, so if you've got ten players all standing in the wrong in the same area, then it just becomes a race to see who can press the button first because they already know the solution, you know. Yep. That's why the um the kind of uh, <laughs> The Aperture Science area later on, where you have colour matching of platforms and shit, that actually requires thought. People can't just blindly run through it. They actually have to check the colour and go, hmm, which one do I need to use? You know, and it changes every round. Oh, I'm stuck. I can't move. Well, that's unfair.
Oh, yeah, every time we play this, I'll come out with more things for you to do. Well, I mean, <laughs> that's the point of a playtest. True, but I, I feel a bit guilty because I'm I'm gonna keep this map in, in like permanent permanent development because I'm such a nitpicking bitch. Eh, it's already been two years, what's two more? <coughs> I do genuinely appreciate it. I don't want you to feel guilty. Fair enough. On one hand, Wumi, I, I understand that complaint. That's one of the random positions that that trap can end up in. But also, don't play heavy. <laughs> Sucks. Which laser trap anyway? There's like lasers everywhere. Oh, yeah, there's not much variety here. No, I mean he just says laser trap sucks. Like which one? I don't know. Okay. Well, focus on being the activator. I suggest that because there's only one of you and two of us. So. I don't know why that puzzle solves itself after the trap is activated. That doesn't make any sense. Nice. See, this is the this is the section where I look at it and think, "Wow, this is really cool," because it's nice seeing players actually have to think. How the fuck did you die? I thought you'd be safe for sure. Uh, yeah, I don't know how to go about handling that. Because if I only make that trigger her cover the length of the room, like the radius of the room, then you can be safe in the corner. Maybe um, you could indicate the danger zone by using different kinds of floor tiles. Maybe. Here we go. Welcome to hell. Rip. He killed himself. Why did you kill yourself? Because he got stuck in it. The collision on these is really weird. Yeah, well, when it went back up again, you might have become unstuck. When it completes a full revolution, you can unstuck. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and enter the debug room. Can you teleport everybody to me when I... Uh, when I'm done? Yeah. I can't see you, so you have to tell me. Okay, ready. There you go. How did you get to a debug room? Like, you must have a secret. You must have a knowledge. Secret <laughs> knowledge. 
Oh god, this is terrible with multiple players. <laughs> One thing I haven't noticed is playtest testing so far is any kind of stuttering or, or micro lag or anything like that. Frame hitching. Okay, that's good to hear. <clears throat> Has anybody else experienced anything, even in the bot fight? Should I be going somewhere, by the way? Uh, we're all in the final stage now. Oh, right. That's interesting. Is up next? How would I know if up is next? I can't see up. Hmm. Maybe you're just using up to mean forwards. Ah, uh, teleporters. Ah, damn it. Could you teleport people into the direction they're supposed to be facing? Or just a direction, like a good direction? I might have to nerf it, yeah, I don't know. God, now we have an argument! <laughs> I think maybe we need some kind of permanent spawn, second spawn point or something. That, that change might team. work. Oh no, sorry, don't change team. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and start testing exclusively the final stage. Right. Oh, you were spectating, Eerie. Nice. Okay, well, great. Now everybody knows the debug. Uh, shit. <laughs> I'm gonna have to ask you not do that, please. <laughs> well, uh, you tell me when you're ready and I'll help uh, everybody. Press, uh, Eerie, just go ahead and press the button. The button on the top right corner. And yes, I'm going to remove it on release. It's just for this playtest. Okay, congratulations, you're at the end of the stage. <laughs> Shall I teleport everybody to them? Uh, no, they can go ahead and enter the end. Oh, right, okay. I thought we were testing the second half of the map. Well, we were. <laughs> Come here, sister. Hmm. Maybe this um, glass material. Uh, you can do whichever mini game you want here, you put but it I did the implement outside. the humiliation for roll dice, which we can check out now. So it actually lines up with the edge, so push it out a little bit, you know. <laughs> Have a taste of your own medicine. Nice. I really like you the screen stage overlays. five was hell. I have to really congratulate you on, the, on, the, on the screen overlays. They're fantastic. <laughs> Fuck me. Thank you. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> <me. laughs> this is a humiliation. I thought it was. Is this like a piss taker for one of those bosses? <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a humiliation. That's boss amazing. Take. It's technically possible to survive, but God. there's a laser that kills you at 40 seconds if you manage <laughs> to live. I uh, I'm activator, so I can try it. Alright, let me know if you want to do the same thing again, mate. You can be the, the process to This is gonna be good. It oh, also it also plays a different theme if you're red versus blue. If you're blue, it goes all nuts. I see. That's really good. So personal music. Yep. Yeah. Nice one. This is Really My cooperative playtests. I have no idea whether I'm not I'm going to survive this. It's basically random. Here we go. Dodge this. Oh. Oh, God. Okay. 
Fuck me. No chance. <laughs> There's no chance. I almost had it. <laughs> okay, next time Zati's activator. We can we can try it. Okay, who's next? The thing with it is it activates all three of those different things between like two and ten seconds after humiliation starts, so if they all activate at the same time, you're fucked. Anyway, uh, I want to try the ice mini game now. New arena here. Hmm. If I go in the water, will it kill me? Uh, no. It kills you when it freezes, and it gives you an alarm to signify when it's about to. I see, because normally people go in the water, they die, so I think everyone just has to work and move. A blue player, oh, there is. Yeah, there's a blue. He's getting chased around by a scout and a medic. See, the uh, screen overlay said knock foes off, and I thought that meant I. Because I've only got one blue player, so I thought it meant I could attack the reds. I thought it meant that uh, I should be attacking the reds as well. Whereas if it just said, like, knock, I see. knock the enemy off, then that might. Uh, that works for one All right. player on I'll see if I can players. change that. I'll go ahead and test jump next. Can you it sound like she's saying, You are Jesus Christ? <laughs> you are Jesus Christ. We shouldn't be able to kill each other now. Why is this doing this? I don't get it. Oh, so I, I should never ever touch the forwards thing. This is doable with lag, just not very pretty. Oh, why didn't it go? You're stuck on one of the rotating things. Oh, why didn't it work? I don't get it. <clears throat> How did... I don't understand it. Why am I not going up to the next one? Like, you know, there should be enough... Do I have to crouch on that? Well, uh, I might just have to change them it. back to, like, funk rotatings or something, because Ben told me to make them models for better lighting, but when they're models, you tend to get stuck in them. You might have to use specific, um... Like, uh, collision type, like V-Physics or something, I'm not sure. Uh, I'll give it a look. Oh, we can, uh, we can try the humiliation of Zadi. Good luck. Have fun. Too late. Lol. Too late, bud. Oh, He's no. living! How did you die? Uh, uh, no. Dice roll is not always humiliation. And yeah, it is possible. Humil beam hurts. Your odds of <coughs> winning as red increase the faster you complete the map. It's based on the rank you get at the end of the map. Oh, I just had an interesting idea. Yeah? 
there. One moment. Let me just like try playing and then I'll, I'll speak about it. sacrifice well there is a way to survive it and since nobody's figured out it just say oh fuck off why the is the walls... floor randomly disappearing what where <clears throat> that's um the white platforms the there i just oh, triggered yeah. them oh and yeah then that's, I that's the trap oh that's naff there's no indication that the activator can do that Fair enough, I'll see if I can rework it. It's like you, you press the button to enable the platform, which is great, and then suddenly it just probably disappears, you know. Yeah, I might just remove that as a trap in general. The thing is, like, in Death Run, you have to kind of indicate that something is activator controllable and most of the time people do that by putting the hazard tape down in your case yeah like the, the caution tape yeah in your case you, you can use contrast so you, you've got lasers which are on the side of the um, the wall and they're off by default so it's obvious that, that the activator can enable those you know because you use contrast and then you've also got certain sections where you have like blue glass or whatever um, or a glass, a section of glass flooring, which is is different to everything else, because everything around it is is the standard flooring, and that contrast shows that it's an activatable object. But in the case of these platforms that look like the Union flag, um, <laughs> you know, especially since I've triggered them and they're all exactly the same, for half of them to disappear, there's no indication that that is uh, an activator controllable thing, you know. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna mix that as a trap in general. Just have it be exclusively a Fair enough. If you wanted to. Or put something different there entirely. Shall I slay Pun Kate? Oh, they can slay himself. If you wanted to, just as a thought exercise. Oh well. Then you could, like, set up some kind of theme indicator earlier on the map that shows that the activator has a presence that it could be something like some kind of corruption you know or or some kind of symbol and then if there was a, an element in the map where the activator has some control you could put that symbol somewhere and then the items in a in an area or in a trap that could be controllable could be like corrupted or flickering or something that could be neat Anyway, what I was going to say earlier on... One thing I did want to test... Go on. Uh, I don't think anybody's actually reached the final trap specifically. Oh shoot, I teleported myself to the wrong place. I teleported uh, Brad. Can you no clip me real quick? Okay, thanks, that should do it. Uh, never mind, no it didn't actually. <laughs> that's, that's loud. What's the loud sound effects coming from? Uh... <clears throat> Every trap has a global sound effect, and in retrospect, yeah, they are too loud, so I'm gonna quieten them down a bit. Global sound effect sounds a bit, uh, screwy. Yeah, it's from a level sounds file. Uh, there was a 
Why do they not play locally using like Ambient Generic or something? Uh, one extra edicts and two. Uh, I forgot what the second reason was. I think like one oh, edict right, is probably fine. Probably, yeah, but. I I mean, you, you've got a peak of 963 here, you've got plenty of room, and that's what the limit is for, it's, it's to be used, so... Fair enough. Uh, would you <coughs> mind no clipping me again? I accidentally, myself. Okay. Thanks. Now, if you wouldn't mind teleporting everybody to me, I want to test the final trap specifically. Here we go. Catapults down here. Oh, that's good. Can we take full damage when we land on that? Yeah, you're not supposed to be up there specifically. I just put myself up there because it was convenient. Ah, okay. Oh fuck, I can't do this. The final trap covers this entire area. It gives you about eight seconds to get out, specifically out here. Ah, uh, I can't do this. this uh, we're me. at the we're at the very end. Pyro, hauling here. Something just came up. <laughs> That's moving at some speed. Oh shit. There you go. That's like arguably easier than the straight jump that we just had to go through. Yeah, I do need to rebalance things a bit. Why did it why did it just go up and troll him like that? Is it on its own timer? Uh, whenever you step on it. The problem is, whenever you touch it also includes touching the side, so I need to figure out how to fix that. Just make the, um, you should be able to just make the trigger. Oh, is, is it touching the platform makes it move? Is it a door? Yup. Hmm. <clears throat> In that case, I would, like, uh, move the door a bit. Ah, shit! Oh, shit, sure. what's happening? Ah, I'm not gonna make it! Oh dear, I think Joel's in light up to science. Oh, steps. Oh, that's interesting. Turn around, Joel. Oh, you can't go back now. Oh, you just can. Yeah. Oh. So that's the final trap. <laughs> so did that mean you just unlock something for people? If you survive? You reach the end. Ah. Oh, and he gets the respawn button too. What's she saying? Uh, it's redeem your chance. It's oh. broken English. I see. Oh, Why what? is that? Why, Why is die? that invincibility thing not working? What the fuck? I, I thought I did. <laughs> but yeah, let's uh let's let's go ahead and do the jump again. It's down. Just uh can you can y'all pinky swear not to murder Maddie in five seconds? <laughs> Do we have collision with one another? And um, we don't. That's good. Well done. Yeah, so Solid 4 works, but so do guns, which is weird. I thought they were mutually exclusive. Yeah, it's strange that. I can't be melee, but... I 
guess I guess poets don't care about your bounding box type. Oh fuck, Matthew. I'm gonna be smacking this fucking sprinter. <laughs> oh, fuck, my dude. <laughs> fuck, my dude. Sort it out, man. I don't get why I don't have the heights of. Man. Yeah, I'm just gonna make the blasted things funk rotating. Screw what Ben says. I don't understand how I can't. I'm supposed to get on the second, like, bump bump thing. Huh? It's like there's a particular area here where it looks like you're supposed to go there, but you don't have the height, and so you end up just just crashing into the ledge oh. and falling down. You'll see on the video. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll look into that. Oh, that that pushes you backwards. What? Yeah, I, I think I know which area you're talking about. Yeah, I, I think maybe you need some kind of arrow indicator or something, or slope it backwards, or slope things like towards the direction I'm supposed to go, or whatever. Yeah. Help! That spy is an enemy! The sniper is a spy! Bloody Gary! Don't go! Oh. <laughs> That sniper is a spy! Anyway, what I was going to say early on was, uh, I'll, I'll say it in the video so I'm not interfering with a playtest. There's no indication uh, that there is a ranking system until you get to the very end. Oh god, yeah, this is getting way too loud. So, I suggest having some way of knowing um, what your rank is likely going to be um, in each course, or whatever. Um, or an area, sorry. I mean, I don't understand how the rank system works anyway. Is it time-based? So if you get to the end, like, within a certain time range, that's your rank. So maybe you could kind of display that somehow. You know, like, uh, course completion times or whatever. You could have it as information somewhere in the start, or... Or maybe what you could have uh, is um, something in the world which indicates what your rank is likely to be based on um, where you are at that time. So let's say you had uh, an eye, like a, a symbol on the wall. Alright, Zadi, you get the puzzle, I'll get the switches. Like a, you know, a display or something, and it gave your current rank. And uh, as you stayed in that area longer, as time went by, then your current rank would reduce, you know. So if you're on track to get an S rank going through an area, then it would be displayed as S. But if you take longer, it would get dropped down to A, B, C, and so on. And so that way, you'd know that you need to pick up the pace, and you'd then have some indication that you're going too slow, or that you're, you're on the right... Um, track or you're doing the right speed or whatever. You know, I think actually you might be better off using 
the, um, the timer system, but having it displayed in reverse. So it's not the time left, it's the time taken. <coughs> so if people come to know that if you complete the map in three minutes or whatever, that's S rank, then they'll know how long they've been in the map. The problem is though that uh, obviously that time depends on uh, the position that you're in or the position of your teammates. You don't know where the people who are in front of you are. They could be doing much, much better than you. They could be doing pretty, ni pretty nifty. They could be doing shit. And so that's why having a display uh, in each area would be um, would be good. Maybe rather than have it uh, based on your um, your current position in the map and the time, you could have like uh, the progress of the of the most ahead player. Uh, so let's say as people go through the map, they trigger triggers or they touch buttons or whatever. You could even use a jump I hate. Entities that are already there, like soundscape entities, for instance. Or mind you, that would mean spectators would um, would trigger them, unless you filter them. But, uh, and you could just add an output to them that fired once. Which mini game do you guys want? And then, depending on the time, um, <coughs> you know. That would um, you could do like a map yeah, counter multiplication sucks. or something, <laughs> and uh, it would display the rank based on that or something. Actually, I think he's AFK. Or a rematch. I'm just gonna humiliate him. It's like gladiators or something. So that means that um, the displayed rank throughout the map would would change depending on the um, the position of the foremost player. Oh shit. Oh. Alright. I think I might be the one being humiliated now. What's that noise that's constantly going on? Is it you? Ah, oh, you've got no ammo. Dispenser here. So have you added in any holiday special effects? Uh, no. I don't think I'm gonna bother with that. Okay. Not unless I want to add another three months of development time. About something basic like um, I don't know, making everyone small, big head, small or something. Ah, <clears throat> uh, I do want to look into those, and I want to add a sprite trail Easter egg somewhere. Uh, sprite trails are not very good because it's first come first serve. True. Unless you can reward players for um, you know for completing something first or whatever, or for, for sacrificing themselves or whatever. Yeah, I want to reward people for exploring all the nooks and crannies of the map and thinking outside the box. That's also what these switches here in Stage 3 are for, these green and yellow ones that don't light. What if you gave a sprite trail to the person who was blinded and survived the blinding trap? That'd be cool. Because it's a pretty big ordeal, isn't it, you know? Yeah, it's, it's an accomplishment. be difficult to I judge lasers you. sometimes. I saw this and thought of you. Oh. Could I trigger hurt? I wonder how narrow that is.
Yo, a little help here? Yeah. What the hell is your guy's problem? This is a real freaking embarrassment. That works so well. I I don't know why it works. I don't know how it just does. But weirdly enough, funk rotatings will only collide properly on three of the six cardinal axes of movement. On the other three, they kill you. Yeah, it's weird. So like enough. I can't have these I can't have these windmills moving in the opposite direction. They can't go counterclockwise or they kill you. They can only go clockwise. Oh, I've made pancake. Nice try, pancake. Yeah. It was really impressive getting that far. Mm. Steady. Spooky noises. <laughs> I had to sample some Final Fantasy for the final trap. Four? Did it just say four? It just said two for me. <laughs> what? I don't know what... What? Four. I don't know why. <laughs> two. <laughs> two. Maybe the announcer is a... Maybe the announcer is a Simple Flips fan. A what? One, two... God forbid it goes into overtime spam. Are there any computer voices you can replace the announcer with? Uh, that's mostly what I did. What about countdowns and stuff? Uh, I sampled those from a game called Ikaruga. Oh, fuck's sake. Just to get that sort of computery, techie effect. I keep thinking they're gonna disappear on me. Maybe I'm too old for this. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make that, uh... Oh shoot, I'm blinded. Uh... Oh no. That's jumping uh, strikes again. Someone lend me a hand. I'm on my way. I have no idea where I am. Uh, Alright, uh... Walk forward a little bit. What's he doing? Alright, you keep going. Stop. Yeah, yeah, you're in the middle now. Okay. Now, on your left, there's a block on your left. Not like, not right, right beside you, but like, um. Oh. <laughs> oh well. Uh, my bad. Uh, I tried. What the heck is what? <laughs> the sign. Uh, Oh, that's an area portal issue, I think, though. Yeah, that's an area portal. It didn't open for some reason. Mm. How did he... Oh, I see what happened. He used the debug room. Fair enough. Yeah. Did this the, is uh... why I uh, got a little bit alarmed when people started going into the debug room. The debug room is in the void. So, is there anything else you want to test before we draw to a close? Uh, I can't think of anything. Anything you guys want to see? Uh, I don't know. Alright, we'll do one last jump. Emergency twist? Don't kill the guy. What's that do? 
That's good. Didn't realise you could do that. So this is what this, these areas for. I have no idea. When's it going to stop? <laughs> Doesn't display its oh the fuck doesn't display its track or anything. Oh, bit of lag. Um, it's what the point of this game was to touch the blue things, but now it touching the blue things is bad. <coughs> Apparently. Yeah, I think you should display the track of the, of the moving platforms. What's over there? Yeah. Should I actually even touch the... I suppose I don't need to do it, really. Where do I go now? Suddenly loads of lag, things like that. What's going on? Somebody messing around? Somebody pausing this? Nicely done, Pancake. So, yeah. Oh, you want to try the humiliation. <laughs> Alright, we can do that. Yeah, I'm just gonna remove the, um... I'm gonna remove the spinning things. Oh great, somebody's already in the <laughs> Is that supposed to be a, a white screen fade there? Yes. Wait, uh... It's supposed to be a fade in, no fade out. Jesus. And you were concerned about edict counts. <laughs> well, yeah, because I blew my budget on this. Yeah. The fuck you game. <laughs> Good game. The only comment I have to make is um, that I would like to be able to get to the later part of the map more. Because it feels yeah. like the second stage that we never get to access. I'm gonna focus on, uh, I'm gonna focus on that. Oh, somebody's going into the maze. The maze. Uh -oh. the, the mini games, I think, are the payoff. But if you don't get to the end of the map very often, or you always rely on not with me to get there, then... Yeah, that's, that's the thing. Uh, fuck, why the fuck did I get... What? I got damaged oh, by something. Pe yeah, people are shooting each other. I forgot to do the thing. Where are the lights? Uh, good question. <laughs> I mean, this is especially dark on purpose, right? So. Yeah, I use a mip mapping effect to make the floor only lit in a radius around you. Mm, interesting. So does that mean that um, the closer you get, it'll use a higher quality mip map and therefore will be illuminated? So if you could disable mip maps somehow, could you see the whole maze? <laughs> yes, you can! Nice. So yeah, I have no idea how that works. Oh god. Just don't tell people. I am removing this goddamn debug room for the next release. Do you want to try the humiliation matter, or do you want to do something? Oh, never mind. No, there would be no point. I would have no chance whatsoever. Well, not when he wants to try the humiliation. Yeah, uh, so, does anybody have any objections? Oh Is there a way to like force him on blue? Yeah, I just give him loads of Q points. 
Okay, yeah, we can go ahead and do that and have that be the last round. Main takeaway is that this map is... Eh. Visually impressive, but not very fun to play for a lot of people. So I need to focus on making the first half of the map better so that you can actually get to the second part. Why is Joel Max Activator? 77. The second part is where all the actual... It doesn't make any sense. Is. Not with me. If you've got um, Max Activator selection disabled... Is he first in line now? Yeah, he type forward slash NA, and then just to put a number, you'll see the all the next activators. Perfect. <coughs> so it's not with me, Joel, Stoll, Darcyl, Scalacos. Yeah, I'm gonna remove the rotating thingies. So we want the humiliation because Mabumi likes to torture himself. Yeah, please, no one else go into the debug room. I see a lot of people already moving toward it, and a scout's in. Bad gum. We need a dispenser right here. Alright, so at least everyone's been well behaved right. today. It's good. Yeah. Have fun, Woomy. I just had an idea for a plugin enhancement. I don't think there was any chance there. Skill is shit! <laughs> Alright folks, I'm going to stop right, I recording. Think that's just about it. I'll leave the map running for a bit so you can continue to play. Alright, that sounds good. Cheers folks.